Measuring is an important part of cooking and is essential in baking. There are two basic measuring utensils that are used most frequently. Those are measuring spoons for measuring small amounts and measuring cups for larger amounts. Measuring spoons usually come in 1 8 1 quarter, 1 half, and 1 teaspoon measures, along with 1 tablespoon measure. 3 teaspoons equals 1 tablespoon, and there are 4 tablespoons in a quarter cup. Measuring cups usually come in quarter, one third, one half, and one cup measures. Measuring liquid ingredients requires different tools than measuring dry ingredients. A dry measuring cup, just like a measuring spoon, is a container that is a predetermined size and filled to maximum capacity. These dry measures can be leveled off with the back of a knife or a dough scraper. Many dry ingredients, such as granulated sugar, are not very compressible, so volume measures are consistent. Others, notably flour, are more variable. For example, one cup of all-purpose flour sifted into a cup and leveled weighs about 100 grams, whereas one cup of all-purpose flour scooped from its container and leveled weighs about 140 grams. This is why professional bakeries use weight measurements instead of volume in their recipes. At home it is important not to pack down the ingredients into the measuring cup. Instead, gently overfill the measuring cup and level it off with the back of a knife. When using a dry measure for foods such as chopped vegetables or herbs, it can lead to a great deal of variation in the final amount of the product. It is best to loosely pack these into the measuring cup and use taste as a guide as whether more or less needs to be added. A liquid measuring cup is often transparent and has a scale on the side or at an angle inside the measuring cup. When using a scale on the side, it is important to be at eye level with the scale so that an accurate measurement is achieved. When measuring sticky ingredients, it is important to use a spatula to scrape all the ingredients into the mixing bowl. If a spatula is not used, a teaspoon or more can be left in the measuring cup and will alter your final result.